Welcome to Next Level Toys. We are out Goodwilling, and uh, let me just. Here's our Micro Machines playset here for a dollar fifty. Uh, looks like a lot of pieces are here. I'm gonna get that because uh, we have a bunch of old Micro Machines. But check this thing out. It's an old Fisher Price 1964 toy. It definitely looks original. Missing the string, but that's repairable for two dollars and uh check this out guys i know it's not hot wheels or mesh box but we're at another goodwill store and found a bag of cars it does have a slight hole in it it's three dollars i'll show you the tag when we get back to the room there we're going to keep on hitting goodwill stores and see what else we can find continuing our hot wheel hunts uh i just happened to glance over here and see some old toys this looks like Pluto, missing the tail. I'm gonna probably pass on that. Just cause uh, I'm just not a fan of broken toys. Looks like there's a tail here. But check this out, this looks like a G.I. Joe vehicle. For the little three inch Joes that I used to play with and still have. And uh, it's a dollar? Uh, we'll take this back home for sure. It's missing the gun looks like back here, but other than that, for a dollar, I'm definitely getting that. Uh, there's a Corvette here too. Made in Hong Kong. Uh, this is actually pretty cool too. Two dollars? It's got a little steering wheel on it. That's definitely vintage. So we're picking that up. And we've got my son here. Ooh. What's that? With those air pumps. <laughs> And he found a McDonald's over here. Let me see here. Yeah, it looks very vintage actually. Is that micro machines? Uh, it's a dollar. We're gonna pick it up and check it out. So we're finding some good stuff at this Goodwill. There's a bag of goodies here. Uh, what is this? Five dollars? Five dollars for this bag? There's a figure in there, but uh, looks like a baseball player. There ain't that many people here. Uh, they just opened a little bit ago. And uh, there's a monster truck for two dollars. Oh no, that's newer. Okay, we'll be right back if we see anything. We're gonna keep on hitting Goodwills and show you our findings when we're done. Uh, we're still at that same Goodwill and I just happened to glance at this little tiny blue Jeep. It's a dollar. Uh, it's a stomper, yo. So I'm definitely picking that up too. And there's even a little Buddy L plane. That's vintage. For a dollar. So someone donated a bunch of old toys here. We're gonna get all this right here. Okay, well, we'll be right back. We're still at that same Goodwill and we're still finding stuff. Check this out. We already have one of these, but the windshield's jacked up. A dollar. Old buddy old vehicle. And there's a this looks like Buddy L too, yes. It's a van. That's another dollar. Just a little dirty. We'll clean her up. We are still at that same Goodwill, and uh, I just happened to see Cookie Monster. C here. is for Cookie. Nom 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 nom. It's definitely vintage. A dollar. All right, so we're leaving this fantastic Goodwill store. My son just found this randomly laying in here as a core figure from early '90s for one dollar. As you know, we collect these. It's just like GI Joe. And uh, we'll be back. Welcome back, guys. We actually swung up here this is the next day from finding them toys at the same goodwill and uh look at this we just found I'm pretty sure these are all vintage plushies for a dollar each got alf i don't know if he's original but it looks it found some bags of toys definitely a he-man tiger so uh we're gonna take this all back to the studio and we're gonna go through it all and call it a day welcome guys to next level toys as y'all see in those clips, we went to several Goodwill stores, one back-to-back -back days, because we found some awesome toys. Decided to go the next day, 
found even more awesome toys. I think in the history I've ever went to Goodwill stores in terms of vintage toys, I think this is the biggest haul I ever had even before I started recording. Let's get right into it. In no particular order. Uh, Dollar 49, we bought this Micro Machine playset. I like Micro Machines. I don't know if it's vintage or not, I doubt it is. I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time on it. Uh, I'll just give you the basics here. It's a police station. 2020. So I'm not even going to really waste too much time on that. It's not old. They did bring Micro Machines back. In case they all didn't know, they, uh, they did it a couple years ago. So... Just be careful out there if you are looking for vintage ones. We also found this. Uh, I don't know where he took the tag off, I believe. But it wasn't much. It was a couple of dollars, I think. But you do this. I wanted to save it. It had a string on the back of it at one point right here. You could easily put another string on it. Very vintage. This is late 60s, early 70s. It says 64. But they did that for quite a while with these things. Now let's get into some bags here. Gotta be careful of these because I remember them being pretty fragile. This was $2.99. I done forgot what I bought it for. That was about a week ago. So uh, that wasn't the reason there for sure. Now we are collecting these from the Disney cars. We're going to do something eventually with them all. I didn't have this one. Total. These are four five dollars in the stores. Oh, there's a cool Hot Wheels in here. Pin striping. Uh, Volkswagen. Looks brand new. A couple McDonald's toys in here. Not much into that. There's a transformer, but that's probably McDonald's. And there's a Chewbacca. We're collecting all Paw Patrol for future things. Uh, Snoopy's Doghouse. I think we've got it because of all these cars, actually. There's a Hot Wheels green car. That will probably be added to my green collection. That's a McDonald's car for sure. This is Matchbox or Hot Wheels? No, Hot Wheels. The wheels fool me. This is a nice uh, pickup truck. Ta da! We got the bone shaker, I believe. Yeah, skull shaker. Hot Wheels. This is a majorette. Yeah, we got a new majorette here. I don't find too many majorettes of any year. Another Paw Patrol figure. Definite knockoff car. I don't waste too much time on this, obviously. Oh, there's, there's another Disney car that we do not have. We're trying to get as many of those as we can. In really good shape, that is. And twin knockoff cars. Oh, there's a little tiny orange keychain. So that was $3. Oh, the ambulance fell off. Rambulance. That's a definitely a good find too. So even a dollar piece, those that's worth it for those three cars. Because they're in nice shape. Alrighty. Let's get into the first big haul that we found that made us go back to that same goodwill a second time. This is about a 50 minute drive for me, but it was totally worth it. So first off, we found this old Looks like Pluto. I don't think it is. For 99 cents. I don't know why. It was price and everything. 99 cents. But you do it like this. It's missing a... I think it had like a tail kind of like out of this material. Uh, there was a string, I believe. Yeah, there's actually a string right here. It's actually still on it. It's just wrapped up in the wheels. We noticed that when I got it home. Definite 70s toy. We picked that up. Uh, I don't know. I mean, mainly for my son and me. For playtime. Uh, and my son did pick out this. 
he thought it'd be cool for a micro machine collection as McDonald's. I was like, yeah, for a dollar, why not? I mean, this could be micro machines. I didn't thoroughly look at it. It does say 2001 right there. It says Hot Wheels though. This is actually for actual Hot Wheel cars. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize how big those roads are. So it's just a real tiny McDonald's. But for a dollar, yeah, we might go do something with it. So my son found this. It's a core figure, 90s, 19, or 90, 99 cents. And uh, I don't think I have this particular one because I don't recognize the paint job on him. So these are made by Leonard. This is 1986. I have a corpse figures video, which I called corpse, but it's cores. Of every one of my figures is a couple years ago. It has a little over 30,000 views on it. If you want to check it out, I got all their names and everything together. It took a lot of research to do that, but it was totally worth it. And for a dollar, I was so stoked on that. Again, 99 cents. This is a Stompers. I believe it's missing possibly like fog lights on the top here. But this is from the 80s. You don't see Stompers anymore. You can see it right there in the tire. It's a Jeep. Uh, these are not cheap whatsoever. But I don't sell none of this. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I don't sell any of it. I'm just a big time collector. I don't resell anything. So here's a Buddy L plane we also found there. 99 cents. It's going to be fun taking these stickers off. This is actually out, made out of metal tin. With plastic. Uh, Japan. So this is 70s, early 80s. Cool little plane for a dollar. Also picked up for 99 cents. This is, I believe, a Buddy L2. Yeah. Buddy L Japan. We will clean it up the best I can. I will keep the stickers on and be careful with the sticker. I don't want to take off any of the original paint. That's definite 80s. Uh, something I don't normally go for, but since I've seen so many old stuffs in there, it's the Cookie Monster cookie jar. I've never seen anything quite like this, and I knew it was vintage when I saw that. You can just tell it's 80s, definite. It's an old Muppet. It's probably like eight, late 80s, because that's when Muppets really was a thing. And there's another Buddy L speed shop. We have another one just like this. Only the window, windows bowed. Again, this was 99 cents. So y'all see why I went the second day, the very next day, just to see if I could find anything. I haven't really got to mess with this yet. I don't normally go for this, but again, it's vintage. So I collect any tang, any any toy that's vintage. And it's complete from the looks of it. This is a Corvette. Uh, made by Playmates. Made in Hong Kong. That's a dead giveaway. It's a definite 80s toy. Uh, they just, in the Hong Kong, if you find them, it's usually 80s or older. But we got like a, probably a battery operated thing here to make it go. Got a little steering wheel in there. And two dollars. Yeah, I couldn't pass that up. So My main thing though is because I'm a G.I. Joe freak. I don't ever find anything G.I. Joe. If you like G.I. Joe, well look at this. So I don't have this particular vehicle. And uh, for 99 cents. I had to lift up the tag just to see, so let's go ahead and do it. I'll show y'all what I was in shock for. Uh, let's get that crummy tag off of there. Gotta be gentle. Now check this out. When I flipped this tag, I was like, no way. And this was one of the first things I found at that Goodwill. 1982. So this was 80s, early mid 80s. The only thing I think is missing is right here. There's a gun turret right there. We do have a sticker that's trying to fall off here. But uh, this is in really nice shape. No cracks, chips. I just love my G.I. Joe's. I have a couple hundred of the 
three inch GI Joes that I played with when I was a kid, plus the ones I've hoarded over the few years that I found at Yard Sales. Okay. I got a video in there too if you want to check it out. Now, for day two when I went over there to that next Goodwill. So, if you're into plushies, you're going to love this. This is Tigger. 99 cents. This is a vintage Tigger. Late 80s, early 90s. But what got me was, let me get to the main topic here. If I can find him. Uh, yeah. He-Man's Cat. That's the only thing I've seen in there when I went there that second day. The very next day, that is. 99 cents. They stock more stuff. What did I miss between that day and that day? I obviously recognize it because I have two of these. The tail is chip broken right here. But that told me there was more old stuff there that was donated. As I was leaving, an employee was pulling out another buggy, but I saw plushies in it. I was like, eh. My son's in the plushies. He has a lot of them. I even got some of them, so we play with each other with the plushies. I didn't think anything of it until I saw them pull out something I've always wanted. And I could always buy them off eBay, but I like finding stuff in person. Alf. I grew up with Alf, the cat-eating alien. This is from 1980s. I'm not going to waste too much time on it, but I know for sure he's definite. There's a tag. Uh, 1988 Alien Productions. If you can see that. There's a show that was on in the 80s. And a uh, very awesome series. When I seen that, I was like, oh, all right, there's more possible old toys coming. And uh, that's what gets started on this. So I'm not going to name the names. These are all the Muppets. This is 99 cents. Everything here was 99 cents. Vintage plushies. If you, see, if you see anything in here, just let me know. We do have this piggy. She's in very nice shape, 99 cents. I grew up with the uh, Muppets. These are from 88, 89, 90-ish. 99 cents. I just know that because uh, that's the series that, uh, you know, these were really produced in. Uh, yeah, 1989, Hong Kong. And then uh, let's get to this guy. I don't know his name. But uh, they are so long ago. But look how good condition these are. 99 cents. I will take all the tags off gently as possible. Then we got this Muppet. Kind of threw me off. I didn't know if he was a Muppet, but he came out of that buggy. So I assumed he was a Muppet. And indeed he is. Same tag. And uh, this was in the midday, but there wasn't too many people in there shopping. So I just tried to grab what I could from that buggy. And I think I got everything that was in there. Uh, this was 99 cents too. Bert, I believe. I believe that's Bert. Very nice shape. They just don't make stuff like this no more. Now, I don't know the values of this stuff, but I got a, they got to be worth at least a dollar. Then we got Gonzo, I believe. One of my personal favorites. And uh, he's in very nice shape. He has a little bit of staining over the years. White is very hard to keep clean. But we might be able to clean that up a little bit without damaging it. Yeah, 99 cents. And then uh, we don't know how old this is. My son, he's 11 now, but when he was like four, five, six years old, he loved Curious George. This is the vintage career is yours. He's been around a long time. But the tag's ripped off. So we don't know how old he really is, but I'm guessing he's 80s as well. It'd fit this time period. Probably early, mid-80s. 99 cents. Wasn't about to leave him behind. But these were the mysterious things. They were in the buggy too. And I thought those were the three little pigs at first. Which, you know, there's three different pigs, right? four but there's actually i didn't notice until i got home these are actual identical pigs and i was so curious i don't ever cheat i had to look up on ebay just to see what these are because valley dell i didn't know if that was valley dell milk or what it's actually valley dell meats 
and uh, I don't know the years on them, but uh, I don't even know how many there actually is in the set, but uh, I got four of them here, and they're in very nice shape. I got trombone, he's got baton, and the symbols there. All of them for a dollar each. But we're not done yet, guys. We're not done yet. Try to make some room here. Please let us know what you think of this haul. As we still have a few more things here. There, this was also found there. Uh, we got dollar ninety nine right there. I was just so stoked. I just bought everything here in this big bag was nineteen dollars and ninety cents. And they was like, "Do you want to round up?" So I rounded up the dime, twenty dollars for the whole shebang. There's a little knockoff truck. There is a Luigi in here. I believe it's just Mickey Mouse. Uh, McDonald's, most likely. Knockoff car. Actually, that's McDonald's. A couple figures. Yeah, I think we bought it because of the figures. I believe this might be like a newer generation G.I. Joe. That might be why I did this. We also have another figure in here. I don't know. Don't look. Iron Man. I think it was a panic. Oh, no. There's another car. Disney cars. That I don't have. And that's probably why I bought it. But for two dollars, I figure I couldn't go wrong, especially with this plushy horde. And uh, looks like metal, but this heavy duty plastic. And uh, this is a McDonald toy. This looks to be a older, but not too old farm truck. Now I should have looked, but there is a Ghostbuster figure in here. This is a dollar forty-nine. So let's see what we got in here for dollar forty-nine. Again, we are trying to go back to the thrift store, the local store, but I have stopped in there a couple of times. They just haven't had nothing, and uh, where Christmas is coming up now, the next couple of months, people is going to be donating a lot. So hopefully, we can nab up some more toy bags. So we got Egon. I don't, I know, I know this ain't old by any means, but I can tell already. 2020, Egon. That new Ghostbusters movie was awesome. I can't wait for another one coming out, hopefully. We got an El Camino. A couple knockoff cars. And uh, that looks like about it. There's an old Donald Duck here. Uh, no, he's not old. 2013. Alright, we got one last bag. And we're getting down to the last few minutes before my poor phone fills up here. We hope everybody enjoys this video. It's something we love to do. Another army figure. We do have the hawk figure. This is why I bought this. And, uh, yeah, this is dollar forty nine. I, I can't remember if I even told y'all that. But we got the Incredible Hawk here. Looks like he definitely works out. Super Mario. Most likely a McDonald figure. There is an unusual Yoshi. My son is getting this because uh, I told him about it. He loves Yoshi. It's his number one Mario character. There's an action figure in here, but I don't think he's too old. Leonard, 2010. Interesting. Made by the same company the core figure is from. And then uh, we got the Incredibles McDonald's. Today. All right, so please let us know what you think of this amazing epic haul of vintage toys. Till then, thank you for watching Next Level Toys. Happy hunting out there. Goodbye.